my piece is called Free to Learn, uh, and I'm a former public school teacher. Uh, the piece is really focusing on this recent wave of backlash against teachers teaching about things like critical race theory, systemic racism, uh, sexism, LGBTQ plus issues, et cetera. So there's uh, in the last in June in, uh, in Education Weekly, they talked about 44 states have uh, introduced bills limiting teachers' abilities to, to, to teach and discuss with their students about issues of injustice. Um, and work to change them. And 18, in 18 states, those bills have passed. And in some cases, it even you know, comes with the ability to sue teachers, uh, all sorts of craziness. So uh, my piece really has come from a very personal place and expanded to a very uh, collective place, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been something I've, I've been sitting on for a while. So when I had the opportunity to make this piece, that was, that was the story that came right to mind and right to heart. What was the moment? I'd love to hear what was the particular moment when you knew this was the piece that you had to make? Um, and you know, what's the personal motivation behind engaging with this topic and bringing it into art? This is a story that's been kind of sitting in my belly for a while. Um, the last over the last couple of years, I was a, a public school teacher, uh, myself in a suburb just outside of Boston, um, that really after the murders of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and, and Breonna Taylor, seemed like it was ready to have some real transformative conversations and, and policy shifts uh, towards anti-racism. In fact, our whole faculty got gift-wrapped copies of Ibram X. Kendi's book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, at the beginning of the year um, in 2020. Yeah. Um, the, so September of 2020, we got that book. And I you know, was very excited to feel like that time was ready. I'm somebody who has studied a lot about the civil rights movement and always wished I had been born during a time when people were uh, more active and more ready to make change. And um, my daughter is also black and Native American and, and, and the, the murders had hit her really hard. And, and we thought about how we could start organizing in our local community. And we had a lot of students and uh, school administrators, police officers, towns, town councilors, kind of all organizing together and things were going really beautifully for um, a while until people started sharing stories of their own experiences with racism in the town and um, getting really defensive responses. And that that story sharing and kind of my my support of some of my students and colleagues who were expressing their own experiences um, ended up evolving into some some really harsh backlash against myself and my family. And at one point I had over a hundred town employees calling for me to be fired. I was receiving anonymous harassment calls, getting sworn out on the street and really um, facing a, a pretty deep culture of silence around um, trying to have any of the restorative or reparative conversations that would have really made this a teachable moment, which is what I had been hoping for. Right. That's, that's really well said. I mean, I would just pick up on what, what you're sharing and note that, efforts all over the country, state by state, um, sometimes in schools and school boards and school districts. People are trying to shut down discussion and debate. Not only that, but they're using terms that make um, make no sense. So this entire notion of critical race theory is not a thing. I mean, it is a thing, but people who are talking about critical race theory have no idea what it is. It's a, a, a narrow band of academic teaching um, but they are attacking everything and anything by saying that A, that it's critical race theory, and B, that it's dangerous for students to be exposed to ideas, which is, I think, antithetical to what you want people to believe, what you want people to understand, and, and what are core values, both um, human rights values and Jewish values. 